Well, good evening and welcome to Great Grace Church of Chester and Hellsmere Port. Uh, we're going to be live on Facebook tonight. We're a little bit earlier than usual due to the fact that in England are playing in the Euros. We don't want to clash with that so that if people want to watch that as well as have a, a Bible study, they can do. So uh, tonight we're just going to be uh, focusing on um, what God has given us for, for the day. It's uh, been a great theme, uh, that theme of the uh, of being immovable. That is our, our title tonight, that is our theme for tonight. Um, theme of the conference, which will be off to soon. So um, if you would like more details on that, get in touch. Uh, we can tell you how you can watch that and be part of it. Um, but yeah, uh, in the meantime, we'll be uh, meeting together on Wednesday, next Sunday, and the fo the following weeks. Uh, we'll give you details of any other events that are on as we get them as well. So tonight, let's pray. Let's give this time to the Lord, and let's just trust Him in everything. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your goodness. Thank you for all of your ways, Lord. Guide us tonight, Lord. Fill us with your life and fill us with your spirit. And show us your heart, Lord. We pray now. Go before us, Lord. Lead us, use us, anoint us, Lord, we ask now. And just uh, minister life through your word and through truth. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let's read from First um, Corinthians chapter 15, and it says in verse 53, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible uh, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall it be brought to pass the saying which is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labour is not in vain in the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for these words tonight. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord, and thank you for your character towards us, Lord go before us this evening fill us with your spirit we have no words of our own we have nothing to say lord but we trust your spirit will speak through us lord and we just ask your perfect anointing this evening in the name of our lord jesus christ amen Yes, so, tonight, immovable. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, we have this idea in this world system that being immovable is a bad thing. You know, we have to be fluid, we have to go with the flow, we have to uh, uh, move with the times. That's what the world says, isn't it? You know, an immovable object is something. Oh, it's creating a blockage. It's a hindrance. It's a nuisance. Uh, this is uh, the way that the world looks at things, and sometimes this can be the way that the world looks at us as well, as believers. Well, you have to find a way forward. You have to find a compromise. Uh, this is the way of progress, and this is how we all work together to achieve world peace and prosperity and happiness if we are if we are actually um, moving with the way that things should move 
But actually, no. The Word of God says the opposite. The Word of God says, be immovable and be steadfast. And really, that is where we're at tonight. Immovable, that is the theme of, the, of our uh, international convention. Uh, next week and uh, it's exciting times immovable it's talking about motion isn't it and actually emotion is uh, something that actually this world focuses on a lot well how do things feel uh, trust your feelings you know, how does this make you feel? How does this make other people feel? Uh, this idea of uh, the word emotion has that word motion in it. And it is that uh, the two are very much linked. This idea of a, 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 a life being changeable and up and down. Actually, that's not what God desires. God desires for us to be stable, steadfast, established in grace, established firm on his on the rock, firm on the word which doesn't change. Look at all of the the the, the language that is used about God, and it is all about uh, stability. His word is settled in heaven. His word will not pass away. His word endures forever. His throne endures forever. His uh, truth endures forever. Um, he is the solid rock. Uh, he is the, the, the rock of ages. He is the rock in a dry and thirsty land. He is the, the firm foundation. He is the uh, cornerstone that the house is built upon he is the 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 pillar and ground of the truth well the church is actually the pillar and ground of the truth as it says and and but we are established built uh, a spiritual house we're lively stones built up into a spiritual house uh, and we are founded on something solid all of the the imagery around god is about that stability uh, sol solidity why so we can trust we don't trust in something that is movable do we you don't really want to step on uh, a step if you think the step is going to move and give way you don't want to sit on a chair that you think might move <laughs> or uh, you know, if we if we sit or step onto something that has wheels on it, there's a good chance that we will fall flat on our face. Now, strangely enough, the, the, the world doesn't seem to mind this. The world loves to put its faith in things that are not very stable. In theories, in fashions, in trends, in the latest thoughts, in the latest ism. Uh, you know, oh, uh, put your faith in uh, uh, postmodernism, put your faith in existentialism, put your faith in uh, um, evolutionism, in uh, Marxism, in. Uh, oh, is it coming? You're still there. We seem to have a complete blip there where I seem to lose uh, camera and contact with everyone. But if you are still able to hear us and see us, please leave us a like, a wave, a gift from Anamochi. I haven't said that yet tonight, so I can say it now. But yeah, that, those are the those are the ways that the, of the world uh, it is. Uh, it believes in all these isms, uh, botulism. <laughs> is the one that it doesn't seem to favour quite so much. 
uh, but there we go, you know. And like botulism, some of these isms can be poisonous. They can uh, kill us, they can affect us, they can kill us spiritually. But in Christ, it says we have the victory. That was the thing. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? You read those words tonight. We can be immovable. Why? Because of what Christ has done. Because the victory has been won. And death has been defeated. We can be immovable because our faith is founded on something that is certain and secure. And something that we can really trust in. And this is, uh, this is who we are. We are God's people. His chosen ones. Bought with a price. But our faith is founded on something that, that will not change. And will not move. And because of that we can be steadfast. And when you think about it. We are steadfast. Why? Because we are taking on the character of God himself if Christ is in us if his spirit is in us if his word is in us if his truth is in us uh, if, if Christ dwells in our heart then actually that immovability comes with us so whereas the world is led by its emotions and it's oh, how do you feel about this how does this make you uh your uh, how does this affect your emotional mental life uh, and it's like no actually that's not our focus we're not up and down we have a stability we have a firmness now firmness is different from rigidity we were saying that this morning that actually uh, a tree that is rooted and is firm uh, we were talking about that in the wrap uh, afterwards uh, a tree that is rooted and firm it can actually bend it can actually sway it can actually uh, be lenient but it doesn't move and now grace means that we when we uh, deal with people's uh, issues and problems and emotions maybe we deal with gentleness and maybe we deal with with mercy grace and great sensitivity but actually we don't necessarily move our position on it and it's like this is the this is what the world does not understand it's well you haven't changed what you think on this and it's like no it's not that we haven't that that uh, we we are against people but we are for God now if people are not in line with God then obviously there can be an issue there if people are shaking their fist at God then there can be an issue there uh, we uh, witnessed something today where we were out on the street and uh, we were going about evangelism and as we were heading back to the car we saw another group who were also witnessing in their way which is maybe very different from our way of doing it uh, but there was a market on in Chester and uh, obviously there had been some sort of uh, difficulty between the, the market traders and those that were doing their outreach and the police had got involved and actually I think the, you know the, these people who are doing evangelism were doing nothing wrong and I went over and encouraged them and supported them and said no actually you're not doing anything wrong and even said that in the hearing of the police actually no these people do have a right to share their faith uh, but you know what the world likes to intimidate us doesn't it the world likes to sort of say oh you know move your values change what you do change what you believe change what you preach uh, move your position on certain things 
But actually the word of God says no. This is God's heart. Now, God is not someone who counts our sins or keeps them. He's the God who forgives our sins. He's the God who paid for our sins. Uh, and that's that's a great blessing. But it doesn't mean to say that he, he makes our sins not our sins. It's ironic, isn't it? It's not, you know, he, he, he doesn't say, well, that wasn't a sin and you didn't do it. No, it's not that way at all. He actually takes charge of the situation and says, yes, this is your sin. And yes, you did do it, but I will pay for it. I will take the consequences for it and I will deal with it. And there's a massive difference. And the world cannot understand that. Because the world says, well, either you should, either this is wrong or this is not right, or wrong, and if you think that it's wrong, how how can you countenance that it happens? And it's like, well, we we countenance that it happens because actually we live in a in an imperfect world, and that every one of us is a sinner, every one of us is a failure, and that's no stigma against anyone. We are all going to fail in something. But that is not the point. We have the Lord Jesus Christ who gives us the victory. And that's uh, what we, where we started tonight. That is our, our main thought of the evening. Yes, we're immovable because of the victory of Christ. We are immovable because of what he has done. This corruptible must put on incorruption. It's not possible for us to continue on in our old corruption. It's not possible for us to live in our sin forever. It's not possible for us to live in our flesh forever. It's not possible to live in our human body forever. This corruptible must put on incorruption. And the choice actually for mankind is whether we put on that incorruption now while we have a chance in that we invite the Lord Jesus Christ into our heart, we invite the presence of God, we invite immortality into our life, we invite eternal life into our life and have Christ in our heart or whether we leave it until it's too late. And our corruptible body has come to an end. And there's no more chance for us to take on that incorruption. You think about it, Jesus said to Nicodemus, didn't he? Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And unless we are uh, born again incorruptible, we cannot understand these things unless the Spirit of God uh, enlivens us, enlightens us. We cannot understand these things. Why? Because the God of this world has blinded the eyes of those who do not believe. And he will continue to do so. And there will always be this mismatch between those that are in the world looking for the world's viewpoint and saying just move with the times just go with the flow don't be so rigid don't be so dramatic don't make an issue of things don't embarrass everybody by taking a stand and actually the people of god who say no we found this god we found a god who is true who is for always the same and he never changes but this is a God that we can count on. This is a God we can rely on. This is a God we can trust. This is a God we can build our lives on. This is a God we can build our eternity on. And that is the message of the gospel tonight. I don't know why. I'm just... Uh, seem to be getting a, a bit of a cold. We're going to leave it there for tonight, I think. Just uh, as... Uh, I need 
to uh, keep breathing. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, let's pray. Let's give this time to the Lord as well. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for yeah, what you've given us tonight, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you that you are not a God who changes. Thank you that you are always the same, that you're always dependable, you're always reliable, you're always faithful, you're always true. Thank you, Lord, that your word is stable, your word is, is settled, and your word does not depart. Thank you, Lord, that your heart towards us is always the same. Thank you, Lord, that your faith towards us is always stable. Thank you, Lord, that your love for us does not fail. Thank you that your mercies are sure. Your grace is abounding. And Lord, we just worship you. We thank you for who you are and what you've done for us. And thank you, Lord, that it doesn't depend on us. The victory doesn't depend on us. And Lord, we just worship you now, Lord, for who you are. Bless this coming week, Lord, we pray with all of its details, uh, preparations for people uh, and different things going on, Lord come through we pray in each situation and Lord we pray if there's anyone out there watching tonight who has never trusted you as their saviour and doesn't know you we pray that this would be the time when they would be open to you their heart would be open to you Lord and they would just receive your word of life Lord, we just pray that uh, someone will open their heart, realize that they need forgiveness, realize that they need truth, realize that they need stability in their life, and say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Fill me with your spirit. Give me your truth, and give me a life that I can uh, depend on, not human life, but everlasting life not the flesh but the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen and if you prayed that prayer for the first time tonight please either get in touch or let someone else know or tell someone who is a believer uh, and make a note of this date Okay, we will uh, sign off for tonight. Uh, see you all again soon. God bless uh, and bye for now.